From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Nonprofit organization Minds Rescue Services on January 21st carried out test work on a world first mobile rescue winder that can go down to 3,000 meters underground. Malone Arnoldi attended the testing at Goldfield South Deep Mine in Gauteng. The rescue winder, which was manufactured by Tech Edge Group's winches and winders, will be stationed in Cartonville and will be deployed when the need arises at any of the deep gold mines in the region. These winders are typically needed when there has been an incident at a mine and the normal conveyances cannot be used to get to the scene. It can carry up to six people at a time, as well as equipment and medical supplies. MRS CEO Manas Furi tells us more about the development and testing of the winder. So what we're trying to achieve today is to get this winder license with the, the mine's contribution allowing us to use their, their shaft and then also the Department of Mineral Resource and Energy to come and see whether this winder is fit for purpose. This winder has been designed to go down 3,000 meters. If you look at South Africa, there's the 10 deepest mines in the world, eight of them is in South Africa. So it just justify the need for us to have something like this in place. And in 2012, the mining industry identified together with Mines Rescue Services that there's a need should something happen at that depth. We haven't got any mechanism to rescue people. And that's the reason why we designed and built this winder. And that's why we're busy testing it today. It's been in development since 2012, as there's nothing in the world similar to this, which you can go and compare us against. So what we've done is that we designed it from scratch in South Africa and we built it here. And today is the, the great test for us to, to prove whether it will work to 3,000 meters. Previously, rescue winders could only reach depths of 1,200 meters, which was insufficient for South Africa with it having some of the deepest mines in the world. Winches and winders Chapers and Russell Moore told Mining Weekly in a separate interview that the catalyst for the design of this innovative equipment was the cave-in accident at the San Jose gold mine in Chile in 2010, which left 33 people trapped 700 meters underground for weeks on end. Moore explained that the company wanted to design a mobile, self-contained rescue winder to address the need for rapid response, deployment and resolution of underground mining emergencies. He added that a novel feature of the winder is its sheave wheel deployment system, which ensures that no additional headgear or on-site rigging is required during a rescue operation, saving valuable hours. The then South African Chamber of Mines first obtained rescue equipment to reach men trapped underground around 1960 after an accident at the Coalbrook mine near Sasselberg, which involved some 900 underground pillars caving in and leaving a thousand workers trapped underground. Goldfield's executive VP Martin Priest discusses what this piece of equipment means for the industry. I think this development is so significant. I think in our quest as an industry, we we're always striving, how do we uh, make sure that we can get home, everybody home safely every day and uh, make sure we're not injuring people at work. So this is just another uh, positive development uh, to make sure that should there be an unfortunate incident uh, down the bottom of the shafts, we have a means to go and uh, extract people safely. I think the important thing with this is it's quickly. You know, before we would have got to the people, but it could have taken you know, 12 hours or a number of days. Uh, you see the equipment is mobile, it can be deployed rapidly, uh, set up fairly quickly, and it gives us the ability to get to people quickly and, and rescue them. And we all know about, uh, you know, in rescue situations, the quicker we get people to safety, the better. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. Don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.